Okay, I hope you guys are having fun and learning stuff here. We're going to talk about the bump offer, which is part of your initial order page, okay? So how that works is uh, on your order page, it's going to create a little box. I'm going to show you in a second. You click the button, and it says, yes, I want this too. So it's basically a, a quick one-click upsell just to add something else to it. It's like going through the line at the grocery store and seeing some bubble gum. They're like, hey, you want some bubble gum too? You're like, yeah, I do. I want some bubble gum. And then you click on the check mark for the bubble gum, and they charge you an extra 50 bucks. Whatever. I don't care. So let's look at the order page here. Uh, we're going to come back down here and go into the editor, and we're going to add a bump page and then I'm going to show you guys uh, where to add uh, that uh, the, the product the bump product because you just like we had to add the product before um, we're going to go back in there and add another product but we're going to click on that bump check so uh, where are we at let's say uh, a lot of times you normally put the little bump offer right here uh, right up above this button so it's the last thing that they see so it's kind of an impulse buy so we're going to come over here and we're going to click on order bump right here. It's the uh, that that one right there, order bump. Okay, so it looks pretty. It pops out. It's definitely different looking than the rest of this page. Um, it says, yes, I will take it. It's got the, the flashing thing there. So we're going to go in here. We're going to say, uh, yes, I will take it. You can change the colors. Uh, the old, the classic editor, you are not able to change all these colors. So I'm actually really glad to see uh, that we can change this stuff. I still use the classic editor, guys. I still like using it. So I'm still learning uh, the version 2 editor, which most of you guys will never uh, even realize how to use the classic editor. There are things that it will do uh, that I, I still can't do in, in the, um, uh, the new editor. So I still go back and use it every now and then. Um, that being said, you can change all your colors out, your text, change your your, your fonts. Um, you can say, um, take advantage of this one-time offer and get $100 off my big program for marketing and get the templates too and all that other good stuff. Stuff so you can. All right, that's a key phrase right there for copywriting. This isn't a copywriting video, so I won't spend a lot of time, but if you use the words, so you can, you can follow that up with a benefit. People buy because of the benefits, not because of the, the stuff that's in your, your product. So if you say, so you can uh, live with more freedom and make more money. All right, more money is vague. We want to be more specific. How much money are they going to make? So if we say, and make an additional $200,000 each month. All right, I'm just making up numbers. I don't even know what this is for. But that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that this text uh, will do what they want. They're like, yeah, dude, I totally want that. Yeah, they're like, yes, I'll take this. It's a one-time offer, right? So um, that's all it's doing. Um, there's nothing else that you really need to do to this. Uh, they might have some advanced themes. It doesn't look like they do. Uh, over here, you can set the radius so you can put a circle circle around it um there's a lot of stuff you could do no border i guess if you wanted but it looked kind of funny i always like doing the the border and then a, a shadow box you could do 40 percent drop shadow on that and i like the way that looks we're gonna go with no shadow we're just gonna keep it like that plain and simple clean and clean and good right uh let's save that and then what we're gonna do is go back to uh, the, the, the page where we add products. We're going to come back here to that tab. We're going to add a product. We're going to add another product. I'm pretty good at this. I could go through it pretty quickly. So hopefully you guys are keeping up. I really just don't want you guys to be super bored. I'm hoping you guys get this. <laughs> but if you don't, uh, feel free to submit some questions or back the, back the tape up, back the video up. I probably just dated myself by saying tape. Back the video up and, and watch that uh, section again. So we'll say... Uh, super bump offer and billing integration is going to be Stripe once again. Your amount is going to be uh, $47 here. And in USD, uh, I, said, I told you guys to do it like that. Here it's going to be 47 Now here's the thing with the bump offer. You want to actually click bump offer. Keep in mind you guys can only have one bump offer. Okay. Now you can... If you decide that you don't want a product, you can always delete one, uh, but know that you have to click that and you can only have one bump offer. You can't 
click the the bump and have it sell out two pro two two products. Um, at least not at this time. There might be some some super secret code you can use or something to make it happen, but I don't have it. So that's going to be a one time, and we're, um, I'll just do uh, funnel works. So we do that. We click create product, and it's now uh, put right here. It doesn't say bump offer unless you go in and edit and look at it. The only reason it says super bump is because that's what I called it. Uh, but let's go back to the overview and preview that page. Oh, you know what? That did count as a visit. I'm sorry. I guess that, that, that will still count as a visit. So we're going to go look at that anyway. Uh, so we have a $27 product here. Guess what we have now? We have a yes, I will take it. Oh, you know what? I didn't put the order summary in here, so it's not actually going to show the extra product being put in here. Um, that's another element that uh, I'll put that in real quick so you can see it. But when you say, yes, I'll take it, what it's doing is it's adding that bump offer to the order. And then when you click complete, it will charge that out. So let's do this real quick just so you can see um, how that's supposed to, how to look. Um, this super clean, super simple order page um, is missing an order summary. Uh, so let's put that uh, as an element. Come on, add element. We're going to add the order summary page in here, and that will update as well. So we're going to save that, and then we're going to click on preview. So now you see they've got my perfect marketing plan. Guess what's down here? My perfect marketing plan is telling me what I'm going to get. You click yes, I'll take it, and the super bump offer gets added to the summary. So now you know you're going to get charged 27 plus the 47. How cool is that, right? So this is just a good way if you have more than one product, people wonder what it is that they're getting. Uh, there's some code in that program that I talked about uh, previously, which was called ClickFunnels Pro Tools that will allow you to turn these radio buttons into checkboxes, and then they could, if they wanted, click more than one product, and then you can sell them out at different uh, different items. Um, what's funny is it actually makes it so that this doesn't work when you do that, though, so you would actually take this out. Um, but, but that being said, this is how it looks. This is how it works. That's how the bump offer works. I ho hopefully you guys uh, get that and see the power of that. That's a, a great way to add uh, some, get some additional revenue out of your funnel so that you can make a little bit more money on each ticket so that you can pay for your marketing and advertising or, or just pay yourself whatever you guys want to do with that extra cash. Uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, we'll take it from here.